All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. Last time we showed off King George going and meeting his men on the front and the man of the, uh, the man of the allies, I should say. Just a little. We're now on to the allies take up the matter of Sicily, June 1943. Air blitz on Sicily. Preparatory to invasion, the allies flung their full air strength against Sicily, Sardinia, and the Italian mainland. In one period of 24 hours concentrating upon Sicily, Allied bombers, strongly covered by fighters based on Malta, uh, destroyed several hundred planes on Sicilian airfields and shot down 44 enemy planes in the air for an Allied loss of 13. The airfields of Catania, Gerbinia, uh, Sianca, Oh boy. Com Comiso and Milo were heavily attacked. Above, Martin Marauders bomb an airfield. You can see, obviously, from above, the bombing of an airfield. You can see, like, the... I'm assuming either those are bombs or trees. I'm going to say they're trees. But you can see the bombing here. Hitting here. Or those are planes, maybe. Yeah. I think those are planes, actually. But, yeah, we can see them bombing the airfield. Trying to destroy as many enemy planes for when they go to land troops so that the enemy has no air cover. Because as I said, air cover is the most important thing here. Softening up. Ancient Sicilian town. June 1943. Catania attacked from the air. Both before and during the invasion... The large port and airfield of Catania was heavily bombed again and again. And enormous damage was done to the harbor and other important military targets. Though these raids often met with opposition, uh, they provided significant evidence that the savage power of the Luftwaffe was weakening. For, among the many types of Axis planes shot down, many would not have been used but for shortage air of aircraft. Above, fires in Catania after a raid. Yeah, we can see, obviously, the huge smoke billowing from the town. And yeah, the Luftwaffe is running out of planes, men, everything. So, while they were once very feared, they're now starting to become very not-so-feared because they don't really have the power that they did Earlier in the war. Americans continue the offensive in the Southwest Pacific. June 30th, 1943. Rendova occupied. On June 30th, U.S. Marines landed on Rendova, a mountainous island in the New, uh, New Georgia group. 170 miles northwest of Guadalcanal. Enemy opposition was quickly overcome, and within a few hours, the whole island was occupied. Randova is separated by only a seven-mile strait from the New Georgian Island, where the Japanese held Munda and its important airfield. The picture above shows the American landings on Randova. You can see here. They're pulling up equipment from the water, things like that, uh, heavy guns. Um, yeah, this uh, Rendova thing. Or not Rendova thing. The, the, this island is very important. Like they said, it's right, you know, there's a small strait between it and the New Georgian island. Um, so it's important that they get this because then they can attack New Georgia and take the airfield, hopefully, is what they're wanting. So they can then move further on. So we're on to the island hopping, like they've said in the past. And so they're going to move through these islands as quickly as possible. Some of them are going to hold them up for a while longer, but they are going to move as fast as they can. Uh, the top here is Australian troops at uh, San Ananda, uh, New Guinea. You can just see them uh, walking through the water, probably looking for, uh, probably just on patrol, looking for any other leftover traps, things like that. Any enemies that could still be around? 
and the bottom, Japanese prisoners captured by Americans in the Guadalcanal campaign. Honestly, this is probably all they captured, too. Um, there's, there weren't very many. Uh, the Japanese were very unlikely to be captured. They preferred not to be um, and chose other options that I will not get into so I don't get in trouble on YouTube. But they chose other options um, rather than getting captured. Sadly. Very sadly. Americans take Japanese surprise on Rendova Island. June 30th, 1943. Air coverage. Flying at treetop height, a U.S. Army P-40 snarls over a group of American infantry men charging across the beach at Rendova in the central Solomons. The Allied attack caught the Japanese by surprise, and aerial opposition was small in the early hours of the attack. Thousands of picked troops came ashore under their fleet guns, and the greatest plane concentra concentration of the Solomons campaign, which took the American force farther along in the direction of Tokyo. Southerners joined Northerners in a battle song marching through New Georgia. A landing craft snaked through torturous reefs. So we can see, obviously, the troops running up. There's the P-40. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of funny that they that they mentioned that. Um, I'm marching through New Georgia. Uh, so... And for those who are not Americans, or even Americans that may not know, there's a song called Marching Through Georgia. And it was about uh, Sherman, William Tecumseh Sherman, um, his march through Georgia. Um, but um, there was a song made about it. And so obviously this is them playing on the idea of, oh, we're marching through Georgia, but we're marching through New Georgia. So that's kind of fun. Um it's just a little fun nod, and it's it's cool to see that they can get along like that, because obviously, for many Southerners, that would be considered not offensive, but to them, it was like, oh, you know, poor taste, because they're family that fought in the Civil War for the South, but obviously, if they're doing like this, we're like, yeah, boys, come on, we're marching through New Georgia. How Renova Island look to the Marine eyes on Invasion Day, June 30th, 1943. Bringing the Marines ashore. Swift landing craft poured American forces ashore at Rendova Island as Army and Marine units closed in on the Japanese airbase at Munda, eight miles away. F uh, from Rendova, artillery rained fire on the Japanese field, which soon fell to American land forces. The all-out assault on this Japanese stronghold of New Georgia got underway at dawn. The brilliantly conceived and daringly executed plan caught the foe flat-footed. The landing of men and materials had actually begun before the enemy shore batteries opened fire, but by that time, the ships had landed every man. So obviously, yes, uh, you can, and obviously you see the picture here they're showing what it looked like when they landed, kind of. It was early in the morning, things like that. But, yeah, obviously, um, taking them by surprise like this, they opened up the shore batteries, but it's too late. It doesn't matter. If all the men are landed, it's, the, it's a ticking time clock for the Japanese because they aren't going to be able to hold this. Obviously, they didn't hold it, but... So, yeah, um, for them, it's kind of like a fool's hope of firing back at this point. A member of a German wolf pack gets a going over. June 30th, 1943. A Navy plane scores a hit. Riding in a U.S. Navy plane, a Navy photographer gets this remarkable close-up of a direct hit on a U-boat, which was attempting to waylay a convoy in the North Atlantic. One bare-legged German stands in awe of a monumental column of spray as another ducts, a depth bomb can be seen, and I'll show you in a second, 
about to hit the water in an attempt to deliver a coup de grace, 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 coup de grace, we're just say coup de grace, to the raider. So right here, they actually put in a little arrow for us. There's the depth charge, or the depth bomb, I guess, getting ready to hit the people. And we can see the German there, one, like they said, standing in all at this huge water column as a direct hit. And the other rushing away, um, trying to get to cover. And like he's like, I gotta get out of here. Um, yeah. So this is definitely the end of this. And it, it is. This is an interesting photo because we don't see this very often. Obviously, it's very unlikely that they would ever get a picture like this. But yeah, we can see the direct hit. And yeah, that submarine's done for. Um, two direct hits, even. That's gonna be it. But just like for the, for the submarine, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment. Tell me what I could prove on. I always appreciate your feedback. Uh, and as always, subscribe. It really does help out the channel. Thank you.